This is the short version of making a notebook from envelope paper. So I'm just having a look through my stack of papers and deciding what is going to be useful and what I'm not going to use for this project. So here I'm deciding that actually I've got several uh, envelopes that are all the same so I'm putting like with like and seeing what I've got the most of um, and it looks like it's the back of these pieces of envelope that are the ones that I'm going to be using. So there we go. So I have got one, two, two, three, 20, 21. 21 of these that I can use like that and there's my signature, um, my page already made. Now the issue with these is, as you can see, the flap is on one side, so it may be that it would be sensible to alternate the, whether the flap is at the bottom and the top, so you haven't got a bulk building up on, on one side, but it's still kind of nice usable paper, and it just adds a little bit of interest. So I think I'm going to kind of, no, that would be that way, look at making these pages uniform and going with a, a notebook that flicks through so you've got up and down images of, of that. These are the papers I want to use for the internal for the signatures of my for the signature of my notebook so I'm just going to put these alternately every other way so, so I'm flipping them backwards and forwards. So I've folded all of my pieces of paper off. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work out how I'm going to put these together in their signature. So that's my final signature with the pages in the order that I would like. So the next thing it needs doing is trimming the edges of the paper. So I've clipped them together to hold them together and lined up on my cutting mat. I'm going to just slowly work around and make sure that the edges are straight and square. Okay, lots of trimming later. So I've actually folded them now and, and I trimmed top and bottom. Um, so I've got some neater edges along the top and bottom. So that's held together, that's where I'm going to sew the signature and um, and then if I cut down here these are going to be all a bit more uniform along the edge here. So I've had a little think through what I want to do with the cover of this uh, notebook here and I think I want it to be a soft cover rather than a hard cover. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the front cover or the, the outside cover of a magazine and although this is shiny, I'm going to cover it, um, but this is a nice flexible but slightly firmer, you can hear it's a firmer paper. And then I want to play with some designs that I've been um, creating. So I'm going to cover the cover in um, some bold geometric paper. Um, so I'm going to, I've chosen those two sheets which I'm going to uh, use. One is going to be on the outside of the cover and the other is going to be on the inside of the cover. And those are part of a, um, of a design pack that I've, I've created. So there's printable papers, um, just good, nice, bold black and white patterns um, that, oh, that one's upside down, that you can um, download and print to use for your um, creative projects. So that's a pack of five papers, which I'll uh, link below. Um, they're available in my Etsy store. Um, so I'm going to use two of those papers, one on the outside, one on the inside, to decorate my cover. I'm going to very simply just fold that in half. From my fold that I've created, which I'm now going to just mark, so that's the middle, that's the fold, 
that I have created I'm just going to mark um, where 12 centimeters is so about there so I just basically want a little bit of overhang um, all around I'm just going to line that up with my um, cutting mat here and I'm just going to just line my ruler up I'm just going to double check is that going to be enough to do for the cover to overhang I think that's going to be fine and I'm just going to cut my cover okay so that essentially is going to be my cover so it's going to give a little firmer and then of course we've got two layers of paper um, so it's going to be a soft cover um, but slightly stronger than um, just one piece of paper it's going to be a little bit firmer so that's going to be my my notebook I have decided that um, this is the design that I'd like to have on the outside of my notebook this is the design that's going to be on the inside so I'm going to put the inside one to one side for the moment so we are now ready to think about gluing now there's a couple of issues with this uh, one of them being the fact that this is quite shiny paper um, so you could if you wanted to you could just scratch the surface I don't know whether you can see that happening scratch the surface with a um, sanding block and that just helps the um, papers adhere together so let's get pasting okay so that's that and I'm going to go with that so I'm just going to smush it down and glue that on turn that over and smush from the outside making sure I've got all my wrinkles out trim the paper around so there's about a one centimeter uh, flap to fold over and glue and trim your corners ready for folding so lots of glue on there then I'm going to just slide this down a bit and this is quite firm paper so I can do this just fold over like that and then that just catches and then you can press down with your fingers Okay, and you get a nice crisp edge. Do be careful, make sure you're not getting any glue on the outside of your cover. So we're gonna do this again. And so I'm gonna take it down a little bit, fold it, just, just get it to catch, and then gently smush with your fingers and you should have quite a nice crisp contained corner there okay go on to a clean bit so there's my gluey bit up here go on to a clean bit and do the same again So there we are so that's the cover on the inside that's the cover on the outside next we need to cut a piece of paper to go to cover the inside of our cover so that's going to go on to there
Okay, let's line it up the other way. Line it up here. So top and bottom, it has stretched a little bit. And peel that off and smoosh that over. So that's the outside. This is the inside. I'm going to leave that to dry now under some um, books, under a couple of bits of board. While the cover's drying, I'm just turning my attention to the pages and just gluing down any loose flaps from the envelopes with a glue stick. So here we are, the cover is pretty much dry. I've refolded it, so I've creased it and refolded it so that's um, holding together quite nicely. It's going to, we're going to sew the signature inside of it. And now I'm having a look at uh, different uh, decorative bindings that I can add to the spine. Well, they're not actually bindings, but decoration that I can add to the spine edge. And this is my chosen one. So uh, I'm just going to measure and it's going to wrap around the spine edge um, and glue in place. So that hopefully is going to fold nicely like that. Quite tight on that fold at the bottom, take that up and into the middle. And again, quite tight, pull that down until it matches the fold. So that's going to be in the middle of and underneath the signature, so you're not going to see that too much. So we'll leave that to dry and then have a fun bit putting it all together. So we're nearly there. Um, so I've got the cover with a bit of a fancy spine covering. I've decided that I'm going to actually do an inside cover to match that. So I've just cut another piece of my digital paper and I've wrapped it around the outside of my signature there. So that's what's happened. And I just thought that would be a more pleasing notebook. So we're at the fun part now. So we're at the stage where we need to sew in the signatures. Right, so for a three hole pamphlet stitch, you don't really need to do too much measuring. So they're going to be evenly spaced between there. And pushed right into the, the crease of that. So I'm going to use the old fashioned way. Um, I'm going to use an awl. So an awl is a sharp pokey stick. And I'm just going to go holding it flat along the bottom there. I'm now creating a shadow from the window, I'm afraid. So sorry about that. So holding it flat against the bottom, I'm just going to poke pretty much in the middle. So that's that there. Then I'm going to go pretty much in the top and holding it flat against the bottom. 
just wriggle, 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 wriggle. And eventually it will come through. Oh. Right, I've got three, two there, two holes. And now I'm going to go for my third one, which I think probably because we're going through the the multiple layers, can you see now on this one, that's why I'm finding it a bit more tricky because I'm going through some sort of double layers of um, paper, but actually that will make it a stronger notebook in the end. And there we go, so three there. So I'm gonna just hold that with the pokey. I'm quite happy using uh, embroidery thread to bind my books and I've decided to go for some black because that's going to tie in with the trim there but it's also going to tie in with the, the black and white of my design and for a three hole um, signature you need about three lengths of the spine but I always do a little bit more so that's one, two, three I'm going to have a little bit more and cut it off. You don't have to cut it off. Some people leave it all attached and then you cut you end up cutting what you need. Um, this is one of my little homemade uh, travel um, kits that I've made um, just to hold my needles in place. So I'm going to find a needle, a suitable needle to sew this. So I'm going to use a big darning needle because actually that's got a big hole, a big eye and hopefully I can see to thread that through. So the next thing you want to decide is do you want the tie on the outside or do you want it fastened on the inside? I quite, I would quite like to see my tie so I'm going to start on the outside. Unfortunately, that's going to be a bit more of a challenge to see the hole, but so I'm going to just ease that all back and hopefully, yep, yeah, there we are. So I'm putting that through the first hole there. That's gone through nicely. So you need a, a length at the end there, and then you're just going through the hole at one end. There it is, got there in the end. Hopefully we can find that third hole. So it's through there, and we're holding the other two in place, and that third hole is there somewhere. There you go. Okay, so my all is showing the hole. I've still got my center, center hole and I'm going to ease my awl out and ease my needle in and that should go reasonably well. Famous last words, here it comes, I can feel it. We're through this, we're through the cover anyway so that's the main thing. There we are, done Oh my goodness me. Okay, so putting that extra um, spine covering at this stage has actually made it more difficult to sew. But I think it will be pretty. Um, I think it's a nice addition to it. So this next one should be relatively easy to go through because you've already got the, the thread to guide you through. So I'm through there already. So these lovely people who have got one of these hole maker things and whatever, that's very good if you, you know, want to make it easy. But obviously you've then got these big holes here, so do you want the holes there or not? So are we happy with that? Let's take our bulldog clips off before we tie it up. 
Is it holding relatively straight? I think it is. And so I think we can tie this. So with the three hole signature, what you need to do is you have a thread either side of this big stitch here and you need to tie it taut. So they say go left over right and underneath, right over left and underneath. and that will give a nice strong tie. And we've made a cute little notebook. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. I don't think I'm gonna put any beads on it. I might just do another tie on there. Sometimes I leave a long thread um, and just put a series of, of knots. So, you know, it's just a little cluster of knots down there. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, so let's do that right now. So I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So I have, I just make some knots random distance apart from each other and it just gives a sort of a, a knotted thread. Um, you can put a bead at the end if you want to. Uh, I don't think I want to because I don't want it to be a long tie. Um, so I don't know if you can see that there. Shall I put something white underneath? What have I got? Let's put that underneath. So yeah, you can just see some knots going along there. Um, and uh, just to give it a little bit more texture on the spine. And then I'm going to trim that. So there we go. That's my little tied three hole pamphlet notebook made out of envelope paper, ready for journaling, drawing, writing, whatever you want. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll link all the um, details about the printed paper um, underneath and um, Look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.